Hi everyone, welcome. Got a few on, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Tracy Beach. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Victoria, Australia. I go live every Thursday with a wonderful project for you. This month, or this week, is actually the third well, Thursday of the month, which means it's Simple Sweet Stampers Tutorial Bundle. So, super excited for this one. This one is the best suite out of the mini catalogue. And I think it's in the, the description of this video in the title. So, you probably already know it's Zoo Crew. I love this suite. So, super exciting. Hi Deborah. Hi Sue. Deborah says she's a little bit early. She doesn't like being late. I don't like being late either. 100% agree with you. Um, hi Marion. Welcome. So how's everyone's week been? Have you been doing anything exciting? Um, do you have any news? I don't think I've got really got that much going on. Uh, we did have um, our daughter come home for the weekend, so the long weekend, because we had Monday off, which was so good. Um, and although we didn't do a lot, we got to go down to Costco um, to get some Swiss Miss hot chocolate, which is great because our daughter actually steals ours all the time. So um, we had to go down and get some for us and for her. So that was good to get that done and went to the markets on Sunday and I actually purchased, I'm so excited because it's something that I've really wanted for a really long time. You know those black heavy, um, you know, dial phones? Uh, my nana used to have one and it's not the same as my nana's. I think my nana had like a uh, baker's light. I think that's what they were called years and years ago. Um, I think that's what she had. This one's not that, but um, the lady who I bought it off at the markets actually said that you can use it still now. I um, mean, get an adapter. What's the word? Adapter, <laughs> and plug it into the NBN. So um, yeah, I'm going to try that and see whether it works. She said it should work, so we'll wait and see. But yeah, I'm so excited for that. I haven't shared that on um, social media yet, so I have to get a photo of it and share it with you. But it was so funny. My daughter, who she's 24. Um, when we got it home and I got it out and she was looking at it, she said, so how does it work? <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't realise I was that old. But yeah, I I did the numbers, um, just our home phone number. She said, oh wow, that would take forever to um, ring someone. And I said, well, back then you only had limited numbers, you know, there'd be four numbers or six numbers. So um, yeah, it was probably wasn't as bad as it is now. <laughs> Um, what Costco did I go to? I went to the Docklands one. So that Docklands is the closest one for us. Um, it's, you know, pretty get, pretty much get straight into the city and, and you're right there. So, um, we're on the other side of Bendigo. So it takes us long enough just to get to the Docklands one, but it was really, really good. So in and out within a couple of hours and it wasn't as busy as, um, the last time we went down there, it was so busy. So I, it was nice to be able to walk around the aisles and not, be bumping into a thousand people. It, yeah, a really nice day trip. Um, we did do the shop earlier in the morning, so we shut the shop at 11.30 in, on Sunday, and we went down after that. So it gave us, you know, Sunday and Monday to, you know, have the rest of the weekend off, which was great. So has anyone else been doing anything exciting? Um, yeah, other than that, we've been pretty quiet around the, the traps this week. We did go bike riding yesterday. Um, that's the first time we've been, I thought it was three weeks. My husband said no, it was probably like two weeks, but I don't know, we've had a bit of rain um, and we go on, on dirt roads and gravel roads because we've got gravel bikes. So we've been sort of putting it off. We did get some um, really good winter gear and we were waiting on those because it's it's really quite cold and wet here. Um, well, it has been for the last couple of weeks. and. I wanted to make sure that we had good um, coverage for our legs and yes yeah, so we've got winter leggings now so yes yeah, so we'll be back riding three times a week um, yeah <laughs> if we can both get motivated the good thing is is when one of us isn't motivated the other one is so we sort of drag each other out yeah so I will welcome everyone we've got a few more on now um, I hope that you're all well you've had a good week we um, we have a new Tracy Sunday challenge, so hopefully you've seen that. I did do a really quick 
video um, and that's here on YouTube and I've also done a quick one for both shorts and uh, the reel so maybe you've seen that it's using that uh, let's go fishing DSP which DSP is on sale all this month so highly recommend getting your DSP if that's what you're needing at the moment hi Ali good morning um, Deborah says her daughter is away on holidays and you're looking after the dogs how many dogs does she have that sounds fun are you doing it at her place or have you got them at your place when we go away my parents usually take our dogs or my parents will take our German Shepherd and um, his parents my husband's parents take um, the little the little chihuahua so it makes it easier for everyone uh, Marion's been cleaning cupboards looking for items so she's put away <laughs> safety spots are always the worst well welcome everyone I'm so glad that you're all here and I hope that you're ready for a little bit of crafting we're using the simple sweet stampers tutorial for tonight's um, tutorial or card class and it's the zoo crew bundle which all the sweet which is my favorite she has three dogs and they're at your place do you have dogs as well Deborah because three dogs is a huge amount of dogs to be looking after if you've got dogs yourself wow that's awesome what sort of dogs are they doggy daycare yeah Marion does doggy daycare for our two dogs every day <laughs> she is a good doggy daycare owner <laughs> It's funny because our dogs sort of they get up in the morning and they are trying to get over there from first thing so they obviously like it over there all right everyone what we might do is we'll pop the camera down we'll go through a few um, little announcements I um, that I have and then we're gonna get into our crafting and you're gonna love this card actually you're gonna love this whole tutorial bundle because they are amazing cards and um, just using a gorgeous sweet I love it so give us a second as you're popping on if you're new here please um, say hello let us know where you're watching from and if you have any questions please pop them in the comments I will um, keep looking down at the comments but if I do miss them what I might do is once I've finished doing the card I will um, go through the comments just to make sure I haven't missed anything. So if you have any questions, please just leave them there in the comments. Deborah has one dog. Okay, so three dogs. How's that going? Um, that's a lot of dogs in the household. <laughs> so all through the month of June, we have the designer series sale. Designer series paper sale. Let's get that right. Um, with selected papers, which is pretty much all the papers in the annual catalogue except for um, what's missing like the the value packs I think is what they're called you know the family packs so the neutrals subtles regals um, all those ones that are, are together but um, these are amazing 15% off if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator you get your 20% discount or your 25% discount on top so a saving of up to 35% which is amazing also a great reason to purchase that starter kit this month and then you can add the designer series paper in your first order at the 15 percent oh sorry the 20 percent off on top of the 15 so you'll get it for um the 35 yeah sorry i said 35 so 40 percent off is the highest you can get off which is amazing um so yeah i highly recommend these I will say I do have a couple of favorites. The Fresh as a Daisy is amazing. I'm actually do, I've actually done a class for uh, Wendy Cranford's Creativity Vault for this month, you, Creative Vault, sorry, um, this month using that Fresh as a Daisy suite. So it's a really great um, paper pack. I also reckon that, oh my goodness, I'm a little bit tired tonight. So my, my words are a little bit jumbled. Masterfully made 12 by 12 DSP is gorgeous. It actually looks like torn paper. So I highly recommend that one. And the Zoo Crew, which is the 12 by 12, um, which is the suite that we're using tonight. And I am using that DSP as well. So this one, I really do think everyone needs to buy this one. What's really great is you have some gorgeous little um, animals on one side and then the opposite side is black and white. So. Um, even though it's black and white, which is versatile for any colour, the other great thing is you can take your stamping blends or your markers, your watercolour uh, pencils, any colouring 
tool or medium that you would like to use and you can change colors or add colors to them which I have um, I have a card that I have done that too but I'm not sure where it is at the moment so I can't put my hand on it but yeah I have added color to these um, which is super easy to do as well so 15% off um, right now throughout the month of June you can go over to my online store and see what ones are available and what prices they are if you are placing order don't forget to use the host code because that will get you some free gifts from me the first one would be the handmade card well actually it's a, a project this month and it's that little um, little box with the packet of lollies inside it I've actually I think sent out all the ones that I have I have to make some more but um, that is the customer appreciation gift for um, this month you also receive the bundle tutorial which is what we used last week this is this one here and we created this little cherry treat holder it holds a cherry ripe a normal size cherry ripe so that's really great um, it is just one of the 47 projects in the tutorial bundle, so you'll get that one as for free as well. And if your order's over $100, you also get the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle, which is this one here. And this is what we're going to be using tonight for um, our crafting. But anyway, the other thing is too, is if you don't live in Australia and you cannot purchase through me, or you're already purchasing through another demonstrator, you can... Um, purchase both the bundle tutorial for June as well as the simple sweet stampers tutorial over my blog so they, they are instant downloads once you've paid for them and yeah, there's lots and lots of um, great inspiration with those um, both bundles so June has 47 wonderful projects in it as you can see and really worth it now also just quickly before we get going on the starter kit if you do purchase a starter kit and become a Inky Stamper, which is my team, you join my team, you will receive both the tutorial bundles every month, absolutely free, just for being part of the team. So I uh, highly recommend, if you're thinking about it, to um, yeah, come join the Inky Stampers. Okay, so throughout the month of June, and I'm sorry, I'm just gonna grab a drink. I've talked too much I think throughout the month of June there is a really great special going uh, with the starter kit um, so if you have an order of $169 in product I highly recommend purchasing the starter kit um, not only will you receive $114 in free product so that's on top so you pay $169, you get to choose $283 worth of products, so $114 absolutely free. You'll also receive uh, free shipping on that the starter kit, so you'll pay no shipping at all, no postage at all. Any future orders that you have will be 20% off, which is an amazing deal. There's also stamping up events that you can take part in. Now, if you join my team... Um, in two weeks time there's actually a creativity now event with stamping up and my team members are joining me at my house or you can join in online and be part of the festivities there's also the on stage coming up next month in sorry next year in march this is a demonstrator only event it's a three-day event happening in melbourne so it's another event that you can be part of it's one of the perks of being a demonstrator and you know there's so many wonderful perks for being a demonstrator you get to choose or order as a pre-order so in front of everyone else you also get to see the catalogs early there's some really great um, programs there's training there is um, great groups that you can join in on so it's a really wonderful uh, group to be part of and if you're interested or you have any questions with the starter kit please message me and I'll happily help you out with those as well. But this month, it's only this month that you can get that $114 free. <clears throat> so Sue, so Silver Elite and above, no, I'm talking about on stage in March next year, which is for everyone. Any demonstrator can attend on stage in March 
in Melbourne. It's at the Convention Centre. Three day event. It's going to be so much fun. Okay. Uh, Deborah says Labrador and two Jack Russells. Okay, so you've got one bigger dog and two smaller ones. That that's not too bad. They get on really well. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm so excited, Marion, to have a Melbourne venue. Um, it's going to be it's going to be really good. I'm so excited. I've really missed through COVID our in person events that Stamping Up do because it's a great way to meet new people. To um, you know, you, you feel spoiled because Stamping Up really look after you and it's a lot of fun. You know, you get to do swaps with fellow demonstrators, you get to play with new products, you get to see new catalogues. It's, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So that in itself, I, I don't know whether I have the fear of missing out. So for me, that is a big benefit for being a demonstrator. Not only do you get your discount, but you get to go to things that or events that are super fun and you know unless you're a demonstrator you don't get to do so it's um yeah it's, it's definitely worthwhile she said she might have to try and go to it next year yeah honestly i urge anyone that can go to it please do especially if you live in um victoria where you're a little bit closer it's not going to cost you too much to travel but it is a three-day event so unless you're living near the city you might have to stay in the city for those um, couple of nights but yeah it's always so much fun and you get to meet other demonstrators from around the world or, yeah we well, do from around the world because there's usually um, demonstrators come from other countries but you also get to see the um, the Stampin' Up! team so not only from the South Pacific but um, from the US office as well so lots and lots of fun. Oh, Deborah says she's booked her accommodation with a daughter for next year. Awesome. I have, I will be honest, I have looked into the accommodation myself. So I, I think it's um, definitely something that I'm going to be speaking to my team with and seeing whether they want to um, get accommodation together and, and go. So it'll be super fun, super exciting. All right, so the Creative Vault has new classes in it. You've got the colouring class, you've got a scrapbooking class and then my 3D class. Um, I did show you last week um, this little treat box. It's a treat box with an easel card in it. Um, let me show you another one. This is the next one here. So this is a little treat box using that gorgeous DSP and the bundle. And inside holds Yankee candles. So these smell really good too. Very, very nice. And Yankee Candles you can get from Woolworths, um, Spotlight, quite a few places now. So that's really good. Pop that box on. It's nice and tight, but so pretty. This is Wild Wheat and Garden Green. Does that not look the cutest little gift? Really inexpensive and a great gift. All right, so that is available. There is a link in the description if you would like to join up. It's a monthly membership and you just pay each month. The great thing is, is new, um, new classes are added regularly and each month and they just keep getting added too. So nothing gets taken away. Um, yeah, you'll just have continuous amounts. And I think I've been doing it maybe six months now. So, you know, there's six months worth of classes just from me. Which is super fun. Alrighty. Uh, Marion says, mouse in the kitchen. Oh, that is a very big mouse. I don't think he realises how much noise he makes. I really don't. <laughs> or maybe he just wants to be on camera. <laughs> um. Alrighty. So I really want to talk quickly about the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial. We did have a... Um, a break with last month we've had a few people leave we've had new people join the group it's a 12 tutorial um, group and I'm super excited with the new look they've gone with a bit of a simple look with the tutorial but the talent in this tutorial bundle is amazing let me just so it gives you the colors the suite um, all the measurements and the instructions and the supplies as well 
and then if there's a video tutorial that will be listed there as well but look at these tutorials so cute I love this suite um, that we're using now um, so we're gonna get on to that in just a second I'm all over the shop let me just go through Tracy's Sunday challenge so this month or this week is a color combo challenge the colors are uh, Bo boho blue misty moonlight mossy meadow and pebbled path which I think you know it's a everyone's sort of like oh that's not really colors I'd put together everyone's done so well with it we've got feminine cards there we have masculine cards um, please go over to my Facebook page and see what everyone's created um, let me show you the card that I created. Hi, Carolyn. How are you? Yeah, it's nice to have you here. So this is using the Let's Go Fishing De Designer Series paper. I have just fussy cut those little fish from the, the DSP. I've also used the Hello Kiwi stamp set. This is a new, new one in the annual catalogue, so I haven't used it before. And it worked really well um, for, you know, water splashes. I've also used this splatters and stripes embossing folder. That's the two pack of embossing folders. I've used the splatters, so really, really cute. And such a simple and quick card to put together. So um, ladies have done feminine cards with flowers. There's um, some masculine ones there. So really, honestly, go over and have a look. And if you would like to join in, all you need to do is take a photo of your card head over to my Facebook page and pop your card in the comments section of that post. You'll see the color combo post um, um, there. So yeah, and you know, even if you don't create a card, go over and just have a look at everyone else's cards. They have done an amazing job this week. They thought that they were um, tested, but very surprising how good they've done. So the Zoo Crew suite is on page 46, 47. Just out of interest, how many of you guys actually have this suite or have the DSP or the stamp set? This is so fun. What like, really is a lot of fun. Um, what's really good with the stamp set is as well, let me show you the stamp set. So it is a cling stamp set. We have great little images with llamas, um, a leopard, a skunk, a raccoon alligator or a crocodile and a turtle or a tur tortoise but look at this the dies here as well and this one's i haven't mounted yet onto my magnetic sheet but we have a stage you've got little balloons you've got flowers you've got a like a christmas tree you've got a little tag you've got a, actually a couple of christmas trees a smaller one and a bigger one but yeah some great little um, seen dies and stamps that you can put together. I think this is gorgeous. I've seen so many great cards using that stage set. And so I'm going to lay out this suite for you. Also in the suite is a ribbon combo pack, which is lemon lime twist and petal park, petal pink, petal parks, a stamp set. Isn't this gorgeous? So two different sizes. Two different designs as well. Um, you've got little stitching in the lemon lime twist and then a stripe in the petal pink. So really pretty. And let me grab that DSP as well. So like I said before, it is um, one side has the little animals on it. The other side is black and white. And which is easily colored in as well. You could change the colors. So I've actually cut some of these out. This is the one that we're gonna use on today's card, that elephant. So cute, but we've got koalas and aardvarks or armadillo. Is it an armadillo or an aardvark? Don't know. A Scotty dog. Cute, cute little designs. And then look, you've got the black and white stars. This one here is the musical theme. So you've got a beaver, a bear, a tortoise, a frog. Um, is that a pig? I'm not really sure. 
I don't know my animals, obviously. <laughs> and on the other side, we have the little spots, which is what we're going to use on tonight's card as well. Then we have ones with wheels. So they're on scooters, on bikes, on a moped. So many cute little images. So great to fussy cut. You can use the dies to cut out some of these images. They don't cut everything out, but you do get some that will cut out. And then the opposite side is that gorgeous pattern there. Marion has them. Carolyn doesn't have them yet. It's on a wish list. Yep. Oh, Ali, yes. Some of the um, dies do cut the DSP, but not everything. So I've seen that one. Then look at this one. These are the relaxing ones. We've got a bear reading a book, some cooking, some knitting, painting, meditating. <laughs> I don't know where they come up with this idea, but absolutely gorgeous. And then we have some little waves, music one again. I think I've got two packs in here, so. Oh yeah. So dancing, doing ballet, that is so cute. And then the opposite side, oh, there's a hippo. Hippo, I'm not sure what that is. Let's say it's a meerkat. <laughs> I'll make up animals and then we have it's almost like a um, like a hide I don't know little splatters We've got flowers which is super cute and then on the other side of the flowers we have the adventurous walking hiking maybe so I've got some collecting butterflies roasting Marshmallows, bird watching, these great little trees that are part of the dyes. So you've got some great images, easy, easy one, easy cards to create. You can just quickly um, either die cut or fussy cut depending on what you have. So if we bring in, I believe it's one sheet cuts out one of the animals. So this one would be this one here so we have a die to cut this one out then the relaxing one would be the llama doing the knitting dancing is the leopard music would be the turtle or tortoise what else do we have One's the knitting. This one here is, it would be the raccoon with the uh, balloons. And then the last one, which is this one here, you could die cut um, the alligator or the crocodile. So each one, each DSP piece has one die that will cut the animal out. I love how they've done that. All right, so let me show you the card that we're going to create. I'm also just going to grab that DSP packs that I do need. So this is the card. Is that not cute? So we've got the basics embossing folder in the background. That's that three pack from the online exclusives. We're using this stylish shapes because you know, I love the stylish shapes. We're gonna use the die cut from the DSP and then we've got some DSP in the background as well. And then some of that gorgeous ribbon and twine. So very, very simple, which, you know, it's a simple, sweet stampers tutorial bundle. So let me show you also what we're going to be, tools we'll use. So this is the basics embossing folder that we're using. It's a pack of three, I'm only using the one. We have the stylish shape dies, which, you know, are the favorites. The kit I have ready to go. Let me move the card over to this side. So basic white thick card base, half a piece of A4. I've already pre-scored and just used my bone folder. Oh, thank you everyone. I love that you love the card. Then we have um, just some scraps. So I've got a piece of lemon lime twist. 
some pool party and some petal pink that we're going to add in. For the DSP, I need this um, little dot pattern. And we're also gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting with that um, elephant. I know, you guys were all yelling out elephant. <laughs> so I might just grab him out quickly. There is no die for the elephant, but I do wanna do cut down so I'm leaving him actually sitting on something or standing on something. So there he is. So what we might do is we might work on the elephant first while we have him out. So leaving him I've actually got it that he's standing on water. Um, I used my, st my Stamping Blends Pool Party as well as the Smoky Slate to colour him in. I could have left him white, but what's really great about this DSP is you could colour the images, so or any of the animals in any colour you would like. So the Stamping Blends work really well for that. Um, you could also use your markers, um, watercolour, pencils as well would work really well. Whatever you prefer. So I'm just trying to leave a little bit of a border all the way around him as well. And we're going to do very simple colouring. So he's holding on to a little banner. The colours in his banner are Daffodil Delight, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Granny Apple Green and Pumpkin Pie, which is super, super surprising, I think. I wouldn't have put um, Pumpkin Pie with these colours, personally, and I did have to look it up. So there we go. But yeah, pumpkin pie. But doesn't that look great? I really like those colours. So I'm going to bring in just a piece of scrap paper so we can colour colour our little elephant in. So I've got the light and dark. I'm going to start with my dark and just add a little bit of colour in on his ears. down his side now the blends will go through the our DSP because it's pretty thin which is fine it, it won't hurt it at all mm. this pen's a little dodgy I think I need another one for the light I'm just going to use my bullet and go around the outside so I've got a little bit more control around the edges. So with the blends they actually um, are single use pens, you can't refill them at all. So once they sort of burr too much or they run out of ink, you just purchase another, another kit. And although my, my other end is a little, um, it's not very sharp, it still, still works fine. I've just got to use my bullet point end um, for the edges to make sure I don't go over the, the edges there. It's not giving me a very good blend either. All right, we'll make do. So 
So I'll make sure I don't go near his tusks. Leave them nice and bright white. And not blend into his banner either. I know I'm shaking the camera a little bit, sorry about that. My camera is attached to my table, so it does shake it a little. Oh, the kitchen smells good. My hubby's making um, pumpkin risotto for tea. So that'll be really nice. So don't forget his little hands. I'm not sure what they're called. <laughs> so I have done a little bit of shading on the edges. So you wanna make sure where you have added the dark to blend them in a little with the light. I'm a very beginner colorer, so I like doing it, but it's not something I'm super good at. I think it just takes a lot of practice and a lot of, a lot of time, but that looks really good. So I wanna come in with the dark again. I wanna color in around his trunk. Just give the definition in his trunk. And also his little nails. Around his feet. Perfect. You could make those pink or any color you like. And then I'm gonna bring my pool party dark just add a bit of color in and this blends the the pool party in from the card as well because we have that in the background with the cardstock coloring in with the light as well perfect and doesn't that look like it's DSP? Like you haven't coloured it at all. It just looks like part of the DSP. Right. Have I missed anything? Thank you, everyone. Deborah says she loves the elephants and they must have their trunks up. Yeah, it's bad luck, isn't it, if the trunks are down? Very versatile, sweet, yes. Trunks up means wealth, love and health. And happiness. Well, there you go. Perfect. A Colgate elephant. What does that mean, Marion? <laughs> I'm not sure. So I'm going to also cut down this piece of DSP. So I'm just going to bring my paper trimmer in. This now has to measure three by five and a half. So three inches. by five and a half inches. So we have that piece ready. I'm gonna bring in, oh look, I do have one left. There we go. That is the customer appreciation project, the free project for anyone purchasing with me this month using the host code. So I'm gonna bring my cut and emboss machine in. We're gonna do a little bit of die cutting and embossing. So for that, we have a piece of pool party cardstock. I'm gonna run that through the embossing folder. And I love this embossing folder. I think the design in this is so pretty. And it's a 3D, so we do need plate four, which is that gray one. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, right, Mary. White tusk brushes twice a day. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> All right, so using that plate four gives great effect on the 3D. Gives it a nice, it's a lot um, more embossed that way. So we have that one done. Then we're going to come in with the stylish shape dies. And we're going to do two die cuts. The first one is, yep, I have them on there. So we're going to come back through with the pool party that we've just embossed. And I'm going to need the circle, the third largest. So let me show you this one here, the third largest. And what I want to do is I want to pop him towards the edge of the left hand side. So there's a little bit more room on this side in the middle. So we're going to need to cut, die cut that one as well as the lemon lime twist. But I also need with the petal pink, we need that large banner die. It's a skinny, large banner. So we'll pop those two through. And we're going to emboss our sentiment onto that petal pink banner. run my scrap piece of lemon lime twist this is a color that returned which I'm really happy with I loved when we had the lemon lime twist great citrusy colors okay so we have all our die cutting done I'm gonna grab everything out of the road so we have a little bit more room. So we're not going to use that one. That could be used on another card. You can use it for whatever you would like. I have all my pieces. So we're going to start just popping some of the things together and then we'll do some stamping. So that piece of DSP that we cut, I'm going to use some liquid glue. I'm going to adhere that to the right hand side. Get in camera so you can see it a little bit better. So towards the right hand side, leaving that nice empty side over there. We're going to cover that up with our pool party piece. Then I'm going to add some dimensionals to this one and pop it up. So you'll receive the whole tutorial bundle. There's 12 tutorials using the Zoo Crew suite in the Simple Sweet Stampers by shopping with me and spending $100 in the order. Don't forget to use the host code. Tell them about your card class. That's the host code here, sorry. Can you tell them about your card class? Yeah, I will in a second. Okay. <laughs> I'll stay out. <laughs> Lots and lots of dimensionals there. That's going to hold the card up if it goes through the mail. Um, you're not gonna have any saggage, which sometimes the mail can be a little rough with, with your cards, so. And dimensionals are super cheap anyway, so don't be afraid to use them. And I'm gonna layer this on the left-hand side in the middle. There we go. All right. We're going to come back in and do our stamping now before we can start layering all our other pieces together. Now we have, um, I'm going to stamp not only the sentiment, just, I'm not sure where I put that other piece of paper. Fold it over so you don't see all that other stuff. We're going to use Lemon Lime Twist ink, so this one here, and then in that stamp set, there is, let me bring it in and show you, 
There's a couple of ones that you could use. So you have the um, little music shape, so which is great if you're doing, you know, the dance. But there's also the confetti one. And to me, this is a celebration card, whether it's a birthday or um, just a celebration, because we've gone with the something great to celebrate you, which, you know, you could use that for so many different reasons. But we're going to go with that little celebration confetti stamp. And we're going to stamp that all the way around just to add a little bit extra colour and design. German Shepherd's come down to sit with us for a little while. <laughs> we have that. We're going to do the sentiment with a white embossing powder. So we're going to heat emboss. So we're going to need my embossing buddy and the Versamark ink. Now if you're living in central Victoria around Bendigo region, I've got card classes starting next month and it's, it's really exciting for me. Um, I did do cl card classes in my local town, which is tiny. We have a very small town. And I did that for years. Um, but yeah, I'm going to branch out and do card classes in Bendigo. So if you are in Bendigo or close to Bendigo, um, they will be starting monthly. And the first one is actually the 15th of July. So that's in exactly one month's time. And I've finalised the venue today. It's actually in um, office space in Bendigo. And yeah. So moving ahead, it's going to be so fun. This is a really small banner, so I'm just going to look and see if I can find my tweezers. There they are. And just hold on to that. I have my heat tool, I'm just going to melt that powder. So if you're interested, um, I'll come out with more information really soon. I've I just finalized the space actually today. So um, I'm still in the planning stage, but I have booked it for that day. It'll run two to 4 p.m. So it's a Saturday, Saturday the 15th of July. So if you have friends and family that live in Bendigo that are looking for card classes, please let them know. Please share it. And yeah, everyone's welcome. So look at that. On the petal pink, heat embossed. Beautiful. So I'm going to bring these all back in. I'm going to add some dimensionals to that little circle. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Yeah, everyone, if you're enjoying the video today, please give me a thumbs up. And obviously, if, if you are new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button as well, you could do that as well. That would really help. I'm going to add just some liquid glue down to my sentiment. And we're going to glue that down. And it's just going to come off the side there on the on the pool party cardstock but still still on the card so it's not sticking out of the card alrighty so on the back of this I'm gonna add just some tear and tape we're using both the simply elegant trim as well as uh, that ribbon combo duo pack which is the petal pink and uh, lemon lime twist I really like that but we're going to use the silver the silver goes really well with these colors and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a faux bow and I actually want it to be fairly big might even need to be bigger than that no, that's about the same. 
So without tying the bow, I've just sort of looped the two over so they're the same. It looks like a bow, but it doesn't create that bulk of the bow. And then we can sit that into the tear and tape. And I'm actually gonna come back in with a little bit more tear and tape over the top to keep that twine in place, like so. We can take the backing off that, add some dimensionals down. And again, I'm gonna use lots and lots of dimensionals here. Down. So there's three ways you can get this whole tutorial bundle. Uh, the first one is to purchase $100 in my online store. The second one is you can purchase it over on my blog for $9.95 I think it is, US. Um, it is in US because the majority of my fellow tutorial bundle people are US demos. So I'm going to glue that one down like so. And the third way is if you join my team, which we've got that great starter kit bundle on at the moment, getting $114 in free product. By being an inky stamper, you get the tutorial bundles, both the monthly one and the simple sweet stampers tutorial, absolutely free just for being an inky stamper. So um, as well as you're part of a really great little crafty family. So if you're looking for that crafty family and um, inspiration, come and have a look at my team because they're amazing ladies. I've got a few on tonight. They're a great bunch. And we get together every month and have, um, have get togethers. And we have in-person events as well every quarter. have it so we've got our little bow I'm gonna bring in just a glue dot for that one and I'm gonna place that underneath on the very edge of his big ears Have a look at that. Is that not just the cutest little card? Very, very simple. Um, there's no embellishments on it. You could certainly add some embellishments if you want to have a little bit more bling um, or specialness to it. Really doesn't need it though. Just has that little difference in the background with the confetti stamped. I love it. I think this is such a sweet set. And, you know, you could use a different image from the stamp set if you would like. You know, you've got the llama, you've got so many different animals that you could use. But just by using that DSP, you've um, really made it easy for yourself. And if you don't have that set and you just have that DSP, use one of your stamp sets that you have in your stash or another embossing folder. You know, you can just change, change little things around and still get the great great design. Alrighty, that, that's the card for tonight. So I really hope that you've enjoyed the Simple Sweet Stampers card or tutorial for June using the Zoo Crew bundle. I actually think this is one of my very, very favourite sweets that we've used so far um, with the Simple Sweet Stampers. And you know, there's so much great variety and I love, I love when Stamping Up have great DSP that you can use on cards without having, you know, the bundles and, and everything else. And I think Stamping Up have really done very well with that. Okay, I'll be here um, with a new tutorial, oh, sorry, a, a new challenge on Sunday. I don't know whether I'll do a video I was just lucky enough to be able to do a quick video the other day for you for um, the let's get let's go fishing DSP. 
but um, yeah, hopefully you can join in with the challenge and I'll be back here next Thursday with a video. So hopefully you can come back from, and watch that. Oh, thank you everyone. Yeah, I really appreciate everyone's time tonight. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I can come back and check that out. I can't see any comments now, so I think you're all happy. And yeah, I hope to see you all really soon. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a great Friday and have an amazing weekend. See you all soon. Bye-bye.